Alright people, welcome back. Another episode of Fake Card Friday. So we got an interesting one here. So you guys know I'm always saying that life points are for resources. Well here's a card right here that's pretty much the, the antithesis of that. This is Black Market Auctions, a quick play spell card that reads. Both players can pay life points at multiples of 100. The player who pays the most life points can draw two cards. The effect of Auction Machine, I don't know why it says Auction Machine, like you change the name or something like that. I'm, I'm assuming you mean Black Market Auction, can only be activated once per duel. Okay, okay, so like I said, my points are resources. So the question is, how much life points are you willing to pay to go ahead and draw them two cards? The thing that I find interesting is that it's kind of like an auction, but then really not. Because an auction, you know, you bid, and then the winner pays, and then the losers, of course, don't pay anything. With this card, you're paying. You know, whether you win the auction or lose the auction, you're paying on life points. So the question is, you know, how much are you willing to keep on paying versus your opponent until one of you wins and one of you loses? So, of course, this gives more of an incentive to have a higher amount of life points. I mean, do you really want to go ahead and, uh, you know, upstart your opponent and draw that one card when, you know, this card can be played? That's a whole thousand life points that they have leverage on you when it comes to the bid. So, uh, is it worth playing? You know, two whole cards, this is a pot of greed, you know, two cards into your deck, that can essentially be game depending on how deep the game is and uh, how much resources you have in comparison to your opponent. So, uh, you know, if you possibly have more life points than your opponent, you might be best to go ahead and try to just outbid them. Now, the question is, do you just go back and forth and back and forth? Like, I'm going to pay 100, I pay 100, and you keep on going back and forth? Or is it just like, you know what, I, you know, I got like 1,100 or 11,000, you only got like 4,000. So, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and pay 4,100, of course, which you cannot pay. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw my two cards, you know. Now, on decks like a Romage, it seems like it would just be awesome to have this card. I mean, they already have Cheater when you fix that. They actually play it properly. But this card, too? I mean, essentially, it's the same thing in the same boat. So, are you going to go ahead and take that risk and, you know, try to outbid your opponent to get them two draws? Or are you just going to be like, screw it, I'm not going to bet anything. You can go ahead and just have your pot of greed. So, that's the question, you know. how When do you draw the line? Because, of course, you don't want to be like, you know what, I'm not going to bid. Your opponent's like, oh, I bid 100. And you're like, I'm not bidding. So they get to draw and essentially get a pot of greed for 100 life points. Like, you know, you kind of want them to pay, but then you also got to take the risk upon yourself and figure out how much you're willing to pay to at least attempt to stop them or make them pay more. So it's definitely a risky card, but an interesting one to say the least. So I definitely say if this card actually came out and was a real card. It's probably, probably one of the most controversial cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just like, hmm, where you know, where do I draw the line? Do I go balls deep, get that pot of greed, and win the duel? Or do I, you know, go balls deep, my opponent outbids me, and then I still pay for nothing? So, you know, life points are a resource, but also, you know, life points are your livelihood in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. If your life points drop to zero, that's it. So, you know, is it worth the risk? Anyway, tell me what you guys think about this card and uh, possible combos that you would, you know, play with this card. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. So, tell me what you think, and I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Bye, people. Thanks for watching.